Crest Children's Center wants to fill a void in the community when it comes to mental health resources for children. News Channel 9's Iris St. Moran shows us Elmcrest's new children's crisis residences and also explains what it offers families. On Elmcrest's campus in Syracuse, there's a new renovated space to help youth in need of mental health services. It's the Children's Crisis Residences. We have 12 beds within this building. Two separate six bed programs are housed under this roof. And we're projecting that that would serve about 260 to 280 youth in a calendar year. More mental health resources are needed, especially for children. While there are already school and community based programs, Burns says this space fills a crucial void. Sometimes a child's mental health is such that they need the extra support and supervision uh, of a higher level of care uh, beyond what can be done in home. But a hospital is too much. They can offer individual, group, and family therapy. And with the art choices and designated rooms, they want children to feel at ease and comfortable while they are here. Our goal is really to have a wide range of different activities and things available for them to use while they're, while they're here. So we've got board games, puzzles, coloring books, TV, ping pong. Once they receive their license from the State Office of Mental Health, then they can welcome youth here. We want them to feel accepted, safe, hopefully gain some confidence and self-esteem during their stay. It was created especially for them. In Syracuse, Iris St. Moran, New Channel 9. Cost Elmcrest about $750,000 to renovate the building, which was secured mainly through fundraising. They'd like to expand to add more beds in the future, which they're now raising money for.